So guys, the next view I'm going to show you, the next application is going to be Iconoclasm. This is how to get all the icons that you like on your desktop. You can control them. Um, you can also use, um, with Iconoclasm, use another thing called Multiflow, which will enable you to go up and down, left and right on your springboard. Um, it's a little bit confusing for me, so I just stick to the page by page, because obviously you can have enough icons on the page. And also how to shrink them down. So this one, again, you're going to need to go into Cydia. Um, this is a paid package that you're going to need to search for. It's called Iconoclasm. So search Icon O. Once you put Icono there, you'll see Iconoclasm will be the top one that you'll get there. Um, you can also see, as you see here, you'll see set formats for the springboard. So you can have 7x7, seven 7x4, seven, seven um, different types of Iconoclasms that you will need to install with that as well. So once you've searched Iconoclasm and you've found it, click on to install and follow the install instructions for Iconoclasm. It is a paid package, but believe me, it's worth every penny that you pay for it. It's only cheap, um, but it is worth every penny. So follow the install instructions for Iconoclasm. You could also install a few of the actual settings if you want to which are 9x8 for the iPad, which you can see there, which are layouts, or you can have M-shaped layout and L-shaped layout. You can have the layout in the late initial of your name, if you want to, on the springboard of your desktop, uh, your iPad. So, once that's installed anyway, that will be back into your settings page again. Once you've gone, once you've gone back into your settings, as you can see, if I can get back into it here, you will then see on the side you will see iconoclasm and basically that will give you all the controls you can enable or disable and you can manually control the rows and the columns if you would like to on your springboard or you can you can just apply the settings in the layouts and i have selected the nine by eight layout which is plenty good enough for me you can get plenty on your springboard um, it's absolutely amazing it's brilliant now with this one you should use a program called shrink so this is free apps here which I'm showing you um, you've gone from showing you InfiniDoc to Iconoclasm and I'm now showing you shrink shrink will now let you shrink the applicate the the icons and the applications down which are on the springboard to make them fit the, the springboard better so they look better in the view you can scale them you can do the dock icons as you can see there or you can do the page icons um, you can make the icons stand out more you can shrink them down if you want to from a hundred percent you can go down by five percent or ten percentage down to each one I mean the way I set my springboard they can stay as they are because they all fit on the page and and they look good to me and my dock as you can see I can fit them all in there and they're brilliant so they're all on a hundred percent but if I was to put more icons on the page I would use shrink and then shrink the icons down a little bit so they all fit in and look good so guys there you go you've got um, you've you've there got iconoclasm which is obviously for your springboard to get as many icons as you like on your springboard and shrink so you can shrink down your icons and also InfiniDoc so you can get as many icons as you like in your dock there now the next one which I'm going to show you um, is going to be multi icon mover so basically when you select your buttons like this you can hit as many as you like um, as you can see here I'm selecting five icons from that page I want to put them onto this page here hit the home button and hey presto um, you give it a second there you go they all appear onto that page there so that one is called mighty multi icon mover not mighty multi um, and again you go back into Cydia with that one um, and basically just search multi uh, and you will see there will be a few M U L T I search multi and if you scroll down you will see multitasking that you can enable if you want to um, multi icon mover that's the one you're looking for there and this one is a free app which will basically enable you to select as many icons as you like and move them from page to page so make sure you install that one as well Thanks guys, Magic's out, Magic's at reviews.blogspot.com um, Please subscribe, check the web 
and um, take a look at my videos, guys. Thank you very much.